Hi, um, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York, and today's video is entitled um, Brain Fog. What is it? Okay, so um, as you know, I uh, have done a lot of videos on dysautonomia and POTS, and as a consequence, I see a lot of patients with POTS uh, in my clinic. And one of the things that they uh, virtually every patient who comes to see me complains of is something called brain fog okay so they say yeah i feel foggy my you know i i, I have this brain fog um and unfortunately people don't quite know how to describe it and i thought that perhaps um if i could look up um you know the literature and see w w what is brain fog just to try and get more insight into what this thing is called brain fog that seems to affect a lot of people with pots so i found a really interesting um paper by ross et al and this was published in the um clinical autonomic research journal in 2013 in december Okay, and if you join my Facebook page, I'll put a link for it on there. Uh, but basically, what these guys did was they asked 138 people uh, with POTS to describe what they meant by brain fog. And uh, the commonest descriptors of brain fog, by far, um, that 91% of patients said that they felt forgetful. Okay, and that was part of their, what they felt was brain fog. They felt forgetful. 89% said that they had difficulty in thinking, and a similar number said that they had difficulty in focusing. Um, and they felt cloudy, so about 88% said, look, I feel, feel cloudy with this. And then a similar number, 88%, also said, we find it difficult to find the right words to communicate with. 86% said, um, mentally, we just feel tired. And again, 86% also said we feel slow. Uh, and similar numbers said our mind just goes blank intermittently. Uh, some said, look, you know, we get we feel a little bit spaced. It's feeling spacey. And we have difficulty in processing what other people say. Um, about 77% said we feel easily distracted. Um, and about 75% said we have difficulty in processing the words that we read. Okay, uh, much fewer people, and I guess those are the commonest descriptors of brain fog in POTS. Um, things that uh, not very many people describe their brain fog as uh, are, they, you know, at least sort of... Um, and the, the poorest descriptors of brain fog, meaning that the least number of people say, used words like feeling lost or feeling sleepy or feeling detached or thoughts moving too quickly to describe their brain fog. So brain fog is more, brain fog is more about feeling forgetful, uh, difficulty thinking, difficulty processing, feeling cloudy, mental fatigue, difficulty trying to find the right words to communicate with, rather than feeling detached or lost or thoughts moving too quickly, which are more related to things like depression, etc. So, uh, um, you know, if this just helps for you, if you suffer from POTS, to try and get out what you experience uh, by using some of these and seeing whether this matches what you're saying. Um, because if you can... Um, uh, articulate how you feel, then uh, it's far more likely that someone will be able to try and um, make that diagnosis and uh, help you with it. In the next video, I'm going to talk about um, triggers for brain fog, again, published in the same paper, so I'll do that video shortly. Um, in the meanwhile, um, I want to thank you all for all your kind words and, uh, you know, the lovely feedback. If you like this video, please consider commenting or sharing and um, liking, uh, and also consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I have a Facebook page, yourcardiology at gmail.com. If you, if you type yourcardiology at gmail.com, you'll find my Facebook page. I do put out other videos on there, which aren't on YouTube. So if you find uh, this video useful, you may find other ones over there. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is that I work in York Hospital and we're going to be hosting a patient day in York. Um, uh, and uh, the details of that are on my uh, Facebook page. So please consider joining and then um, and and I'd love to meet you in York. Um, great. Thank you so much. All the best.